Dry Duck, Part 1. Peep and Chirp are great friends for a duck to have. Whoa! But they're not the best swimming buddies. Ducks. I'm a duck. You're a duck and a blue sailor. You are a very complex individual. Yes. Bet you can't do this one! <laughs> ah! Oh. Did that hurt? <laughs> Yes! Then I can't do it. You win. <laughs> Goodbye, blue sailor. How's your stomach? <clears throat> Stings. Oh. Oh. Oh, quack. It was one of those great duck beaver friendships that everyone dreams about. Goodbye, see you real soon. But things were about to change. Water. I hear running water. Let's work. <sighs> Listen, I can hear it. Hear it? It's coming from far away. It just sounds close at night. It doesn't matter. When I hear water, I gotta dam it up. Otherwise, I'm a failure as a beaver. The noise won't stop and you can't sleep. <sighs> I guess you know what we have to do. He knew. So the very next morning, when Quack came to visit... Hey, come on! Let's swim! <laughs> I can't. We're leaving. Okay, uh, when you come back then? We're not coming back. Ever. Well, what do you mean? We're leaving so my dad can build a new dam. But who will swim with me? Who will... Could you keep it down, please? Time to go. We're burning daylight. You're really going away? Forgot. I wanted you to have something to remember me by, so I made this for you. It's mud. Can I have something to remember you by? Uh, okay. Um, like what? Your hat. I know. You can have your memories to remember me by. Memories are nice, but they don't keep the sun off your head. Well, you're not getting my hat. No way. Sun! Goodbye, blue sailor. <sighs> Goodbye. <sighs> Bye. The beaver's new home had enough trees to qualify as beaver heaven. Mother, father, I've never seen so many twigs and sticks. 
This is a great spot. Running water and plenty of wood. Well, we can't build a dam by staring. Let's work. They worked like beavers. Exactly like beavers. They built a higher, wider dam, which made a deeper, bigger pond. Can we make it even bigger so we have the huge mongoose pond ever? Great idea, son. Beaver boy missed Quack, but he was too busy to feel sad. Quack was never busy, so... Don't be sad, Quack. A fish can be your new swimming buddy. I don't need a new buddy, and I am not sad. How could any duck be sad in such a... Such a perfect, beautiful pond! Poor Quack. <laughs> huh? Hey! Hey! Huh? Hey! Oh, what's that? Someone has a very cold nose. Whatever you're doing up there, stop it! We're all squished! Well, it's not my fault. Somebody shrunk our pond! Hmm? Quack! What happened? Well, I don't know. Hey! Stop that, you home drinker! Did you drink my home? I think he drank my home. It's getting way too weird around here. Quack. What are you going to do, Quack? <sighs> I don't know. This isn't a good place to live anymore. You're not going to leave. <sighs> yes, Peep. It's time for these duck feet to be a wandering. Bye, Quack. Saying goodbye is too sad, Peep. Just say, um, um, oh, I don't know. Uh, how about this? No, no, that's no good. Uh, try this. Um, no, 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 no. Wait a second. What happened? No. Quack's pond broke, so he's leaving to find a new one. He didn't even say goodbye to me? Come on, you guys. I'll miss you so much, I'll probably never stop crying. My old pond. Oh, this is so terrible, and I'm such a sad duck! <laughs> well, I got that out of my system. Adios! Oh, that's the word! Adios! <laughs> Don't worry. This is not the end of the story. Oh, yes, it is! I'm really leaving. Well, I'm the narrator, and I still have a lot more story to tell. It is! And a chicken, and a robin, and a family of beavers. Stay tuned, everyone. <laughs>